Hello, my name is Aruna Aminu. I'm casting this from Dorei, the area of Kano State, one of the Nigerian states. I'm now interviewing one of the Nigerian kids about the standard of his living. Two. We are in Mesa Naka. Two. Nika Kiki. Two. Can I summon come on now? Two. What do you want to do when you make a sooner? They are one sooner. Can I catch you? Sooner can I ask? So, I ask you to come to the review. You can come to the reader. I'm saying, I'm honest. You can come to the reader. I'm saying, to the reader. I'm saying, I'm honest. Tukut ni dekat cecah mana ni kanyak cecah itu sum. Abun cekak cecah, kerja aku dalam makanan tu. Tu macam makanan tu kecik. Makanan tu. Ya sunan tu. Oh, tu private school cecik na. Tapi gua mana cecik? Tu, kau ni kamu kuno aji. Kamu kuno hamsang akin taji. Aku buat cecah na aji. Tu kau ni apa yang tera abun dah cecah kau yang aku? Ina cewa ni senyap ringan nak tapi ada ke iya kamu dah tulen cium? Ada ke iya pada apa? Kau mau ajan kan awa? Kan awa aji, aji biar apa nama dia? Ama ada ke iya cium senyap ringan senyap nak tapi ada tulen cium? Tu, tu gasel lah cina amat semua. Kau yang selalu ama? Tu, apa selalu sih selalu dah dah elia. Shin, antara anda mukum itu kita semua anda ayam kamu. Ha kau dah kui selalu? Kau kau dah bagai cium? Ah, gas kau buat kerja kau mu? Gas kau ni buat apa? Tu, tu, tu. Jema ada aku najis halin dah kiri kiri. Tu, as you can see people, I'm interviewing one of the Nigerian kids about the standard of his living. The boy started by telling me his name. He said that his name is Anas. His name is Anas, and the the boy occupation is ah ah grading. That is grading of the grain. The boy, I asked him, how much is he earning for the grain? He said that he's earning 100 naira per day. And I asked the boy uh, about uh, what is he doing with this 100 naira. He said that uh, he's using 100 naira to buy food and pay his school fees. I asked the boy, as I can see him without the sleeper, he said that, uh, uh, why didn't he buy a sleeper? He said that the money will not be enough for him to buy a sleeper. As you can see, the boy is with the torn trader. And he said that that is how it is. He cannot be afforded to do all these things and that. And the boy, as you know, the seller is approaching. I asked him about the seller wares. He said that he didn't have any and he's not expecting any. And I asked him, what are they expecting to slaughter? For the seller, that is for the Idil Kabir. He said that up to now, his father didn't buy them anything and they are not expecting anything. Even a cart, they are not expecting to slaughter, to slaughter even a hen. So that is the situation of Nigerian kids. I hope that the Nigerian leaders will consider this and uh, they will do something to change the situation of the kids. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Based on the view of the two kids interview, we may say that both of them are in absolute poverty. One of the kids said that he took only 10 naira kuku as his breakfast, and the time we interview him is 3.35 p.m. But unfortunately, the boy didn't eat anything for his lunch. And the second kid, as he said, he must come out and do something to earn something for his surviving. Instead of staying at home, studying or providing his lesson. And both of the kids are working barefooted and they didn't have sleepers. And the most unfortunate thing is that both of them are from the city area. They are from Murai, Valley Local Government Councils, one of the largest population and the biggest city of the state.